Having a good sales one-on-one -on -one between the sales leader and the salesperson is one of the most impactful things that you can do as a sales leader, but it gets screwed up a lot. My name is Gary Braun. I'm one of the founders and co-owners of Pivotal Advisors. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is the one-on-one. -on -one. So most of the time when I talk to people about their one-on-ones, if they have them at all, it turns into a lot of times just a deal review. I talk about what's going on with this account and here's what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to come on on this date. And the sales leader gives them advice on what to do on that account. And then we go to the next account and we do that over and over again. And pretty soon a half hour has gone by and we're done. And we think that was a good one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to suggest, no, that's not. That's not a very good one-on-one. -on -one. Deal coaching is super important, but it happens all the time anyway. It happens in the hallway. It happens when we're riding in a car together. It happens on phone calls. And those things just come up and we talk about them. We don't need another separate meeting to do that. If you do, that's fine. That's not the purpose of the one-on-one -on -one I'm talking about. The one-on-one, -on -one, I think, really drives performance is a very structured one-on-one -on -one with an agenda focused on performance and skills. And this is what I mean. I like to start these one-on-ones with what I'll call MITs, most important things. And that is whatever did they commit to last week when we had our one-on-one -on -one, is they said, I'm going to find two new opportunities. I'm going to get this proposal. I'm going to close that deal. And we start with simple accountability. Did you do the things that you said were the most important things? If they did them, awesome. Good job. We move on to the next agenda item. If they didn't, let's talk about that. You said they were most important things. So what got in the way? What do we have to do to make sure that we're getting to our most important things each week? And we have a discussion around that. Simple accountability, simple focus type of exercise. Next, I want to look at numbers. And it's not just revenue numbers, but I want to look at activity numbers. I want to look at close rate. I want to look at deal size. And we should have goals for those things. And I want to see how you're doing against the goals. Did we generate enough opportunities? Is our close rate in order? Or do we have too much stuff in the pipe where we're not closing that? Are, are we closing them, but the deals are too small? We have to look at how they're doing versus the expectation or the goal. And again, if they're doing a good job, awesome. Rock on, keep going. You're doing a great job. If they're not... Let's talk about why, which takes us to our third agenda item is coaching. If they're not getting enough opportunities, let's talk about it. Are we not putting in the effort? Are we targeting the wrong people? Is our messaging poor? Uh, if we're not closing, are we giving away price too early? Are we not getting to the decision makers? But this is a great opportunity to coach, figure out what they're doing, make adjustments. And we, we end up with action items that turn into our MITs for next time. So we have gone through our plans, we've gone through our coaching, we come up with our MITs, we handle any issues that they would happen to bring to it, and that's a nice structure for a one-on-one. -on -one. It's simple, it's straightforward. What's not included in there is deal reviews. Those happen again somewhere else. But if we have that one-on-one -on -one that I just outlined every week, and again, consistency is key here. If we do them every once in a while, it's hard to have that uh, accountability. It's hard to have that focus. The MITs don't mean anything anymore. But if we have that short one-on-one, -on -one, 20, 30 minutes long, and we stay focused on the topics that we do, we're going to make huge progress. Don't get distracted. By the way, salespeople are really good. If they didn't meet your expectations, they're really good at saying, but boss, I really want to talk to you about this. And they take you off course. And now we never get to the important stuff. Then there probably was that guy who did that at one point. But don't get distracted. When that happens, you say, absolutely, we can talk about that. But first, let's get through our agenda and then we'll get to that. Keep them focused. Keep them on target. That's your job as a sales leader. We've seen this work really well. This really drives performance. We've done this with hundreds of companies, literally, to help them drive accountability, help them with their skills, help them get more laser focus on their performance. If you want to learn more about how to do that, go to our website at pivotaladvisors.com. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there. We would love to talk to you. Give us a call. We can walk you through what good things look like. We can, we've got a, a nice handout we can send you on what a good one-on-one -on -one looks, looks like. Uh, let us know. If you like this video, click like below. Subscribe to our channel. We put out videos like this all the time. We'd love to share them with you. And thanks for watching.